Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's talk about creating dynamic slicers using field parameters. Now let's say as an example, I've created a field parameter here and I've added the field parameter as a slicer here. And I have a chart here which is basically displaying the category by sales based on the selection that I make from this particular slicer. When I chose a different dimension here, city, you can see that my Y axis has changed here dynamically based on the selection that I make from this slicer. And all the cities are now being displayed here. Likewise, when I choose region, I have the region being displayed here on my Y axis. I have made a detailed tutorial on this earlier as well. It's available on my channel. You can check this out and also leave a link to that video in the description below. Now let's take this one step further. When you have selected a dimension here as category, you would like to see a slicer here so that you will be able to choose the categories that you want to filter out. For example, if you just want to filter out the data for food grains and beverages, you should be able to do that. Likewise, when you select region, you should have an option to choose the regions of your choice and likewise with the city as well. Now one of the ways that you can do this is by creating slicers, something like this. What happens is that you can create three different slicers here, one for category, one for city and another for region, which means that you're adding three slicers into your Power BI report. But my requirement is that I would like to just have one slicer, which will again dynamically change based on the selection that I make from my dimension slicer. Now, what if I say that we can again make use of field parameters and change the values in our second slicer dynamically based on the selection that I make in my first slicer. When I choose region here, I'm able to see all the values under region. When I choose category, I'm able to see all the categories under category and I'm able to apply filters here based on my needs and requirements. And my chart here is now filtered based on the selection that I make here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when I choose, let's just say for example, when I choose Chennai as a city here, my total sales is 195K. The moment I choose region here, the filter is cleared, which means that it does not carry forward the filter that I had applied in city. In case if you want to apply a filter to region, to category, to city as well, you will not be able to do this in this way. However, there is a little workaround. When you uncheck all of the columns here from the first slicer, you should be able to see something like this where you have a drop down created now. You have category and then you have region and then you have city. When I expand this, I have region. And then again, when I expand this, I have all these cities under that particular region. Now you can do that as well, just as a workaround. I think it's a very neat feature for you to ha have in your Power BI reports. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create these dynamic slicers in your Power BI report. So let's get started. So let's go to the new tab and then head to the modeling tab and then under new parameter, I'm going to choose fields. Let's give this a name. I'm just going to call this as dimension. And now I'm going to start all the fields that I want to display in my slicer. That is my category, my region. And then I would like to also display the city, not state, but city. And you can also reorder them based on your needs and requirements. And then click check this box, which says add slicer to this page and then click on create a new slicer will get added into your Power BI report. Let's quickly change this into a tile slicer. Once this is done, in the interest of time, I'm gonna simply copy the formatting options that I have applied to this slicer, to this particular slicer here. And now my slicer is set up. Let's create a new clustered bar chart. In the bar chart here, I'm not going to add the category or city or region here, instead, I will go to the parameter that we created, which is dimension, and then bring that into our Y axis. And on my X axis, you can bring in your measure. I'm going to bring in my sales amount here. I now have the category being displayed here. And when I select region, I have my region being displayed dynamically. And when I choose city, I have my city being displayed here. And now on to our next point, which is creating the second slicer dynamically to display all the values based on the selection that we make in our first slicer. So to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply copy paste this particular slicer here. The slicer that I have used here in my demo session was the list slicer. So let's change it to that. And once I've done that, I'm going to simply come back here. I'm going to copy or format painter and then paste it over here so that I have the same formatting options applied as well. I'm going to uncheck city. And then what I will do here is now the problem that I'm seeing here is that Whenever I choose category, 
I'm able to see category here. That is not what we are looking to see, right? When I select region, I'm saying region again. That is not something that we are looking forward to see. But instead, we would like to see all the categories or regions under that particular column. So to display all the values under the column region or city, all we have to do is head back into our build tab, select your visual, that is your second visual, and then head to your builder visual tab, and then right click on the dimension here, and select this option which says show values of selected field. When you do that, you will be able to see all the values under that particular dimension. When I choose category here, you are able to see all the categories listed here. And now you can apply filters here dynamically based on the category that you select or based on the dimension that you select in your first slicer. Now, if you need a detailed tutorial on how I have created this particular slicer, there's a detailed tutorial available on my channel dedicated only for the list slicer. You can check that out and learn how to create the list slicer. You can customize a lot of things in the list slicer. Do check out that particular video on my channel. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.